Yadier Melia was born on July 13, 1982, in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, the youngest of three boys to Gladys Mata and Benjamin Molina Sr. He attended Mastro Ladecholo Martinez High School in Vega Alta. As a baseball, and Puerto Rico had is a significant part of its island's culture. Molina's father played second base as an amateur and worked as a tools technician 10 hours a day in a Westinghouse factory. The all-time hits leader in Liga de Baseball professional Roberto Clemente history, the elder Molina delivered a 320 career batting average and gained election to the Puerto Rican Baseball Hall of Fame in 2002. Molina's two older brothers, Benji and Jose, also developed into distinguished defensive catchers with lengthy careers in Major League Baseball, and each of the three won at least one World Series championship. Each day when he completed work, Wayne's father went directly home, ate dinner with his family, and crossed the street from his family's home with his sons and his son's friend, Carlos Diaz, to Jesus Mamba Korean Park, exhausting countless evening hours teaching him the fundamentals of the sport. He remained hopeful that his sons would become professional baseball players. Molina's catching altitude showed as early as age five felt quickly. Nevertheless, he developed great competence in playing all over the baseball field, and as older brother Benji recalled, always seemed to be the best first player taken in the youth league's draft. Molina concentrated on infield positions until about age 16 when he began to develop a familiar Molina physique. As of 2013, he stood 5'11 and weighed 220 pounds. Molina's father had sought to accelerate him on the diamond. Following Yadier's suspension from a youth league at about age 15, he anticipated the distance would stagnate his development, so he searched for an alternative. Against the wishes of coaches, family members, and friends, he scheduled Yadier for a workout with the Hotelo Tigres, an amateur league team. Molina made the team after a single workout and immediately became a starting catcher. The Tigres' first baseman, Luis Rosario, was the one who recommended him into the organization. The Tigres played in a league composed mainly of players 10 or more years older than Molina, well before he was eligible for the MLB draft. Minnesota Twin scout Edwin Rodriguez followed and scrutinized Molina starting in high school. He observed that Molina's skills closely resembled that both of his older brothers, both accomplished major league catchers, and decided that his defense was polished enough to be considered more advanced than most high school. In the United States. However, Molina's hitting lagged behind his defense. The initial report of his Hillstead was defensive catcher, great arm, weak bat. His closest comparable hitter as a catcher was one whom the Cardinals eventually placed on the top of their organizational ladder, his future manager, Mike Matheny. Before he was drafted, Molina worked out for the Cincinnati Reds. He put on a spectacle at Riverfront Stadium with his arm and bat that rather attention of executive scouts and prominent former Reds players, including Johnny Bench and Bob Boone. As Molina recalled, he left the season with an impression that Cincinnati intended to draft him. Undeterred by the eventual universal reservations about his offensive ceiling, the Cardinals took Molina in the fourth round of the 2000 draft and signed him for $325,000. The Cardinals invited Molina to Major League Spring Training Camp following his draft. Although described as raw, the young catcher proposed purpose with fascination to humiliate Matheny. At one point in the extended tr- spring training, instructor Dave Ricketts observed Molina from a golf cart during a game that he was still learning how to catch. He had been transitioning from third base. After allowing a pass ball through his legs with the runner at third base, Molina raced to the best stop to retrieve the ball, still hoping to prevent the runner from scoring. He instead found Ricketts in the golf cart parked on top of home plate. Ricketts had a reputation of becoming upset when minor league catchers allowed balls to bounce between their legs. For this, he removed Molina from the game and drove him to the batting cage. There, there Ricketts batted 150 to 200 round balls, as Molina estimated, to improve the young catcher's ability to block pitches. Molina began his professional career with the Johnson City Cardinals of the rookie level Appalachian League in 2001, playing 44 total games and batting 250 He advanced one level. 
each of four seasons in minor leagues. Even without highly developed offensive skills, Molina proved difficult to strike out. Mainly a singles hitter who favored hitting the ball the other way. He batted 278 with 14 home runs and 133 bat RBIs. With 118 strikeouts and 1,044 at bats in four minor league seasons. In his first three seasons, he threw out 111 base runners, attempting to steal but allowing 133 stolen bases for a caught stealing percentage of 45%. Only his first chance in the major leagues came when the incumbent catcher Matheny went on the disabled list with a strained rib in the Cardinals' pennant winning season of 2004. Molina made his major league debut on June 3rd. One of his game winning hits occurred on August 7th. He stroked a broken bat single to shallow center field in the bottom of the ninth inning against the New York Mets. On the plate, his center fielder Mike Cameron. Stop started toward the outfield wall based on Molina's full swing, not immediately realizing that he had only partial contact because of the rough bat. By the time Cameron changed the ball, it was too late. It fell on forehead, and Jim Edmonds was able to score. Three weeks later, on August 29th, the Cardinals were victorious over the Pittsburgh Pirates 6-4, thanks in part two of separate plays in which Molina tagged out the runner at home plate, including a collision with Ty Winnington. Molina appeared in 51 regular season games and he in 151 plate appearances. He made an immediate impact with his arm, throwing out more than 50% of would-be base stealers, 9 of 17. In the World Series against the Red Sox, manager Tony Lusa elected to start Molina over Matheny Day 4. The Red Sox swept the Cardinals and claimed the title that game, their first in Aces years. The following offseason, Matheny signed a 3-year, $10.5 million contract with the Giants, clearing the way for Molina to become Cardinals.